We cannot afford to let hunger steal our children's potential anymore. During the International Women's Day celebrations in March this year, our president asked me to champion the voice of children in the nation. This is a call we have embraced and laid out in three broad areas, child provision, child participation, and child protection. We are starting with child provision by supporting the ongoing school feeding program in the country. We are championing the sustainability component of school feeding through school-based food production programs that target learning institutions like you can see uh, in the branded items that we have today, Feed One and Hunger. We are inspired by Mother Teresa's words, and I quote, if you cannot feed 100 people, feed just one. We are working to ensure every child has access to a nutritious meal daily. Kenya aims to attain the universal school feeding target of 10 million meals daily by 2030. Currently, we are feeding 2.5 million children daily. I have a brand ambition to support 2 million children out of the gap of 7.5 million children who are yet to enjoy a school meal daily. In collaboration with the relevant state departments and partners, we are embarking on the following initiatives. First, we are establishing school kitchen gardens in all public schools to grow short-term nutritional crops like vegetables and herbs. Second, we are establishing fruit gardens in public schools to supplement the fruit intake for children. And third, for the schools with arable land, we will work with the Ministry of Agriculture and partners to support the production of food for the school. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to urge the county governments and elected leaders present to join us in this program and allocate a budget that will support school feeding programs in our schools. I specifically urge our legislatures to consider providing sufficient funds towards the budget of the Ministry of Education for school feeding to ensure that we support our government efforts to close the gap of 7.5 million children in the next six years. School feeding is not an expense. It is an investment in Kenya's future. We want to see every child holding a nutritious plate of food in their hands daily. This is the power that every child needs to get an equal chance at life and change their future. As I close, I'm honored to celebrate World's Children's Day with children from Nakuru County and especially children of Katembwa. I'm pleased to join you this afternoon at Katembwa Primary School to celebrate World Children's Day 2024 with a theme Listen to the future. Stand up for children's rights. Today, as we celebrate World's Children's Day, our focus is clear to ensure every child in Kenya has the opportunity to learn, thrive, and dream free from the burdens of hunger and malnutrition. A month ago in October 2024, the World Bank published the Africa Pulse Report that revealed that seven in 10 children in Sub-Saharan Africa are denied the benefits of pre-primary education due to hunger and malnutrition. When Kenya gained independence in 1963, the founding fathers of our nation focused on three key issues, poverty, disease, and ignorance. To eliminate ignorance, the plan was to ensure that every Kenyan child is educated. As a trained teacher, I know how difficult it is to teach a hungry child. Hunger is not just a pain in a child's stomach. It is a barrier to learning, a stolen opportunity, and a deferred dream. And it is prudent and very, very important that when we are bringing up our children to be future responsible persons. Let us develop them 
responsibly. Allow me to pose a question to you, uh, the people and the children of this, of this nation. What have you done for the children of Kenya? Umefanyia nini mtoto? Every other day when we wake up, we see violence against children, Your Excellency. What have we done to make sure that we bring up our children in the best way possible? Wewe mzazi wa Kenya, umefanyia nini huyo mtoto? Kwa kisha kwamba huyo mtoto, anakuja vizuri, ili ategemewe kwa maisha ya badai. So what have you done? That is, I don't need an answer for that, but we want to find out what have you done? Wazazi tumeachia watoto, malezi tumeacha. Tumeenda kwa mambo mingine, tumeacha malezi ya watoto, ninawasihi nikiwa PS wenu ya watoto. Tafadhalini before Her Excellence, our First Lady, who is also a mother, I request you, please let us take care of our children. Let us not harm our children. Let us not violate the rights of these children. I beseech you. Your Excellency, we do what we call cash transfer popularly known as Inua Jami. This one we give to the vulnerable uh, families of this nation. And there is no reason why children should not be left without school fees, and there is no reason why children should go to bed without food. We have done not only for the older persons, but we've done for the vulnerable people, that is the people living with disabilities, and as well as the old people and the children who uh, within us, especially those who come from the, the vulnerable areas. Your Excellency, we found this when the government came into place. We found the children who are being supported by Inua Jami at uh, two, 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 two thousand, 259,000. We have scaled it up now. We are talking about 500,000 of children that we give the cash transfer. Besides that, Your Excellency, we are also doing what we call presidential bursary, uh, secondary school bursaries. We give the children who are not able to access school fees, uh, we give them some money, which is 30,000 per year, uh, for them to access education. So what we are asking is that can we take care of our children? There are opportunities, the government is there. We are doing quite a lot as a government to make sure that our children are in a better place. And today is the World Children's Day, and therefore we are hosted by our children. We are hosted by the future. As teachers, we are happy to be here because we are co-creators of our children. As parents, we are here today because we also co-create our children and we are co-collaborators of making sure that the future is safe. Your Excellence, I want to assure you that as Ministry of Education, we are fully dedicated to make sure that that future is safe in our children. And as I conclude, as part of that assurance that we are ready for that future, we are all aware that in January we shall be having our grade nine children. And as a process of ensuring that our grade nine children are in a conducive environment, as government through the Ministry of Education we are already constructing 11,000 classrooms. In these two, between these two schools, we are doing 10 classrooms as we prepare ourselves for, those, for the next year. We have also supplied books to this school, to the two schools in the ratio of one to one in all learning areas. And as you are aware, Your Excellence, our colleagues at the Teacher Service Commission has just confirmed 46,000 of our intern teachers. We are recruiting another 20,000 teachers in preparing for the future who are our children. So once again, Your Excellency, we would want to thank you for your commitment to be with our children. But the most important is your commitment from what we are wearing today. As I wear this cap, it says feed one and end anger. Because our children can only settle in a classroom if they are well taken care of, because feeding a child is making that child steady in a classroom and ready to learn. So thank you very much 
for accepting to be our ambassador in school meals program. And we look forward to your ensuring that as the county, the deputy county governor said that they are feeding ECD children. We also want to ensure that our children by 2030, that we have a universal school feeding program so that every child will be able to get an opportunity to learn, not with an empty stomach, but with a stomach that we shall have taken care of as parents. And we commit ourselves not to leave anyone behind and not to leave the future behind. Today is a very important day worldwide. We are celebrating our children. We want our children to see the future. We want our children to excel. So it's a very big testimony for us also as parents to see our children excel in such a manner that we want them to grow. It is our responsibility to make sure that our children get the right education, the right nutrition, our children get clothing, our children get shelter, and for the fatherless, we need fathers for them, and for the motherless, we need mothers for them.